Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, May 3rd, 2024. I pray that God will be with you today and I pray that his favor will be on you. Our reading today comes to us from Isaiah chapter 40, reading from verse 28 to 31. And it says, Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall walk. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his words of encouragement and wisdom so here we are admonish that God is the everlasting God he is the creator of heaven and earth so everything that we see in existence God created it and so we are told here that God he never faints and he never become weary so he doesn't get tired so it therefore means that we can go to him at any time any hour and he will always be there ready to answer our petition so we don't need an appointment to meet with God he said that he gives power to those who faint so if you are weary if you are burdened Pray and ask the Lord for strength and for power because he will give you that increase. It says that the youth, the youth will faint. We will faint. Men will faint. And we will become weary. That's a fact of life. And that is why we need the strength of God to get us through the day-to-day -day ups and downs. The trials the difficulties, all of these things, we cannot venture them on our own. And so never try to do anything by yourself without the aid of God. Follow his directives. But I want you to pay a little attention to the, the 31st verse. It says what? They that wait upon the Lord will what? Renew their strength. So we are admonished here that we need to wait on God. Don't run ahead of God. Work with God timing. Because if we wait on His timing, if we wait on Him, what will happen? He will rise us up. It says that we will mount up with wings like eagles. Have you ever seen an eagle? Oh, they soar through the sky they don't fly low they fly high above and they're able to see everything on the ground so God here is saying that he will elevate you to that height but only if you wait on him and so I know that we all have our plans and we all have our desires and the things that we would like to accomplish in this life but I tell you this if you go ahead of God, not working with Him, then you will utterly fall. And that's a fact. So when God put us on the track that He wants us on, we'll be able to, to run the race of this life. It says that we will run and we will not what? Become weary. Why we won't become weary? Because we trust in the everlasting God and we are trusting his plans 
for our life so even if it seems like things aren't working out how we expect them to we won't become discouraged because what we know that in time god is gonna do us what he's gonna mount us up on the wings of eagles so that we can soar and we will be able to walk and we won't faint because our strength is in god and so my encouragement to you this morning is that you will wait on god continue to trust him it may seem like it's taking a long time for things to work out for you but don't give up because god timing is always the best and as he says that what he's not asleep and he's not blind to your situation but you have to trust him i have to trust him and so as we continue to trust in god and as the and as we continue to wait, let us know that God will come through for us. Amen.